What now? I must go to the game store! Why? Because, so I can purchase the Crash Team Racing Nitro Feud on PlayStation 4, so I can review it! Well, the game's not even out yet. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, I think as of this day. Wait a second, uh, didn't we already have this conversation before? Okay, seriously, what is the point of your intros? Because they make absolutely no sense. I still have no fucking idea. You're just running out of ideas, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. The remake for one of my favourite racing games of all time, Crash Team Racing, is about to be on shelves pretty soon as of this date. So I figured since the timing's right and I haven't done a top 10 video in a while, we're going to be looking at my top 10 Crash Team Racing racetrack. You can probably say this video is just an excuse so I don't have to work on the next Ratchet and Clank reviews. And you are 100% absolutely positively right. But before we start, we have to lay down some ground rules first. Number one, I'm only selecting the racetracks from the original, so no Nitro Kart or Tag Team Racing will be allowed. Number two, I'm going to try and choose one theme per track. So for example, if I select a snow track, then I cannot pick another one featuring snow. I can't really promise anything on honorable mentions, but we'll see. And number three, please know that this is my personal favourite racetracks from CTR, so not everyone's favourite will be on this list. So, like Power Rangers, let's shift into Turbo as we start off with number 10. A nice fitting way to start the list is the first racetrack you'll come across in Crash Team Racing. 9 times out of 10, if you played CTR for the very first time, this would be the track you started. A very simple layout where you can get used to the controls on how to drive and learning how to boost. Because Naughty Dog presented this beginner's track in a good way, it became a memorable racetrack for me. Some cool features in Crash Cove include performing a nice trick and seeing a pirate ship along this section. While nothing really too special in most people's eyes, but I believe this was a good way to showcase the rookies of what Crash Team Racing is all about. Up next is Tiny Arena, a racetrack that shouldn't be underestimated. It may start slow until you reach some mud puddles and some very sharp turns that lead you bumping on the sides. It's not a bad thing by any means as it does provide a challenge. There's also a lot of small hills to jump on making you boost a lot and Tiny Arena is the longest track in the entire game. It might not be my first choice of track to race on, but if you ever need a track to test your skills, this one has got you covered. thought you were going to. Well, technically yeah, but we're transferring this conversation over to you in audio. Oh, right. Sorry. My Thank bad. You. Wanker. What did you say? Oh, nothing. I, I, I didn't say anything. Well, you better damn right you said nothing, because otherwise I would have gone into the audio and I would shove this straight up your... Wait, why am I talking to myself? We all have our favourite tracks in terms of challenge, speed, and nostalgia. And when it comes to nostalgia, Coco Park is on top of that hill. Me and my sister would always play this track first, 
because it's her favourite, and the more I played it, the more I come to appreciate this track. The design looks colourful and harmless, and I always find myself humming to the soundtrack. Again, it is a basic race, but sometimes, even the most basic of all things can often bring out an impact. If you ever want to race on a track that involves a lot of speed, then Sewer Speedway is the one for you. This track was inspired by my favourite game of all time, Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back in the sewer levels. There's two alternate routes you can choose, it has a valley in the centre which means lots of jumping and boosting, and there's a secret path you can take, but I can never be able to perform it correctly. And did I mention that Sewer Speedway involves a lot of speed? Well, let this gameplay footage speak for itself, as I was a mile away from the other races. A real satisfying moment. The home track for Dr. Neo Cortex himself in Cortex Castle. Well duh, that's why it's called Cortex Castle. This is one of those tracks that can take some time to master because this is a pretty difficult track, and even to this day, I still have some trouble with it, especially with the CTR tokens. And that's why I love this track. Spiders appearing out of nowhere, sharp edges and corners can cause some veteran gamers some trouble, and that sweet jump towards the end is always a joy. It's no wonder why Vicarious Visions tried to recreate that feeling in Nitro Car. Of all the tracks in Crash Team Racing, Papu's Pyramid is the one that stands out in terms of creativity. <laughs> Papu's Pyramid? <laughs> More like... Papa's Pyramid? Back in the day, this was my jam. I always went through each track saying boring, until this came around and I start to wet myself. Uh, actually, can we delete that? Thanks. Flowers are located on the sides, and if you get caught, it can cause some serious time wasting. It also features driving around the pyramid and performing, in my opinion, one of the best shortcuts in the entire game. <laughs> Okay, maybe I haven't mastered that yet, but still, a fun track to race on nonetheless. You know something? The closer we get to number one, the more excited I get to talk about each racetrack. Frickin' Engine Labs, man. It's delightful, it's delicious. It's lovely! A boost tunnel to receive maximum speed, a number amount of hills to bounce on, and trying to avoid a giant rolling barrel so you don't get squashed. And did you know when it comes to Engine Labs, it features the largest number of boxes in Time Trial. This track is also based on Futuristic, which is something I personally like, and it does help it out a bit for this list. Now we're getting into the great stuff, if you were to ask Little Cheese and Crackers what's my favourite racetrack in Crash Team Racing, it would have to be Polar's Pass. I've said this before and I'll say it again. 
I always enjoy seeing snow in video games, and seeing snow take an effect in Crash Team Racing is orgasmic. This track features seals as the only enemy, but if you get hit, your card spins around. The soundtrack complements the track even more, and it's always cool to perform that nice shortcut. What's interesting is that in Japan's version, this track is called Tick Tock Papa Bear. <laughs> Pole is pass. <laughs> more like... Papa's pa- The best way to describe Oxide Station is HOLY FRICKIN SHIT THERE IS SO MUCH SPEED! That's exactly what this track is. You can obtain a lot of speed that it's crazy. This is also the last track you race on and face Oxide 101 to make sure that Earth doesn't turn into a concrete parking lot. There's a lot of speed pads, hence why you can get so much speed, sharp corners to turn, and performing another awesome shortcut that you can get way ahead of the other races. It is no wonder why this track is a fan favourite. It may be a very nice track, but it's not my personal favourite. And before we get to number one, here is a few honourable mentions. This will always be the first track I will select if my sister is not around, mainly because of the good challenge it brings. The racetrack itself is up in the sky, and it is based on Cortex Airship back in Crash Bandicoot 1. Some of the tracks are narrow, so it can be tough trying to stay on the track. It also features a few shortcuts, two large jumps, and a very nice soundtrack to listen. It's tough getting used to at first, but once mastered, you'll be going through this track lap by lap, like a pro. And that was my top 10 Crash Team Racing Racetracks. If you have your own personal favourites, please do not hesitate and comment down below and share your opinion with the world. And while you're at it, go ahead and pick up Crash Team Racing on PS1 before getting Nitro Fueled, because it is the best PS1 game in my opinion, and it gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect when Nitro Fueled comes out in a couple of months' time. Now, if you excuse me, I think I want to make a deal with the devil first before we get to those games, but until next time, thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe today. My name's Cheese and Crackers, telling you to keep calm and keep playing video games.